we had breakfast with the mayor of San Antonio and I am so blessed and honored to even be considered to sit in the same room with state officials the mayor I mean the the feeling is so I feel accomplished um, and what I mean by accomplished I feel accomplished what I am um, and what I do within my business who would have thought that you can get so much fulfilling and in, in child care that child care now is really being considered a real business. They don't, well, they, people are starting to come around to understand that we're not just babysitting their children. We actually are conditioning young minds. And they're, they're, they're starting to recognize us in this field. And I am blessed and honored to even be considered to sit in the same room with some of these powerful men and women. And with that being said, to even be honored to get an award for one of the best top three child cares located in San Antonio, Texas. That is a great accomplishment across the board. And if I can do it, guys, you can do it too. So today's topic will be what makes an award winning child care? Well, let's, let's go down the list. Some of my accomplishments within the business is the fact that I do give back to the community. I do go out in the community and I service I service the community needs. So I used to be open for at 5 a.m. Um, it wasn't a need anymore, so now we open at 6 and we close at 9. We open up on Saturdays. Um, now I'm doing the nanny service, but I'm only doing the nanny services. Um, per event. I'm not doing the private nanny. I'm only doing the nanny services if someone is having some type of event located in San Antonio, Texas, Austin, Houston, or Dallas. So I'm, I am honored and grateful for that too, that that is really making a big hit. And one of the reasons why I feel like it is really making a big hit is because of the fact that my center has has been nominated as one of the best top three child cares in San Antonio, Texas. Your reputation in your community says a lot about how you run your business. So if you're not out there in the community, now is the time, guys, to get out there and see what your community needs. Meet the people. Give the people what they want, not what you feel that they need. We all open our businesses with a vision and a mission. But if your vision and your mission is not matching up to the community needs, then it's your mission and your vision is falling on deaf ears. That's just my opinion, and I find it to be true in my community. Um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about hiring. Hiring towards your personality. I have a flamboyant personality. So when I hire my director or an assistant, I do not want the same type of personality because I find that we bump heads. I actually like to find someone that has a more calm spirit because they balance me out. Um, I need someone that's detailed because although I am detailed, I need someone to help keep me on track because my hands are doing so many things and my mind is going a million miles a minute. Um, so I need someone to help balance me, keeping me on track. So. If you are already on track, but you're not um, bringing in a clientele, you may need somebody with a flamboyant personality like myself to be at your office. I hired the opposite of my personality because basically what I'm doing is I'm filling the void of things that I'm lacking. Okay? So, another thing that helps makes me uh, an award-winning child care, guys, is that not only do I serve the community, um... I do a lot of marketing and branding and if anyone ever tells you that marketing and branding is not an important piece of the puzzle within any business they're they're not telling you the truth um how I market myself in this business with the child care coaching and my child care businesses matter of fact any business that I'm operating I market myself Let's face it, um, we have a lot of people that do the same thing in our industry. We have a lot of child care coaches. We have a lot of child care that's in our neighborhood. We all market the same thing. So when you have 
potential clientele that's coming in to look at you, they want to know, well, if you're offering the same thing as the daycare down the street or if you're offering the same thing as the child care coach um, in another state, why should I choose you when y'all practically doing the same thing? So then you have clientele choosing off of personality. So we all, it, everything is recycled. No one has done anything first. Um, it's all about how you package it and how you present it to your potential clients. So I don't want to keep this video this long. I'm actually going over five minutes. But if anybody have any questions or you need any coaching, you need any advice, or you need someone to help market and brand your business, I am go-to girl. Um, give me a contact. Um, contact me off of any of my social media platforms. <laughs> I'm available anytime for you guys. Just um, just hit the link, make an appointment. And we'll, we'll pick up from there. And if you have not gotten your tickets for the Secure the Bag event located in Houston, Texas, March 23rd, 2019, now's the time to do so because those tickets are going fast. Um, in this event, you will learn about trade marketing, branding, um, cop copywriting. You will be able to get your headshots. You will be able to meet other individuals to be able to motivate you and teach you how to better present and package your business, how to increase your child care enrollment, to how to create the proper forms for your brand. 